Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Spurs Up. As always, alongside Matt Bubaka, I'm Jack Taylor. And this week, we have Coach Alan Serwa from the club hockey team here to talk to us a little bit about his story and about the club hockey team. So, Alan, thank you for being on today. Thank you for having me. And uh, for starters, what brought you into the club hockey team? What got you started with them? Uh, well, I've been involved in hockey my, my entire life, pretty much. I played myself 13 years in, in uh, professional. Uh, but before and um, I mean after that, um, they uh, they recruited me, asking that I really needed a coach, and I, I wasn't willing to coach that much because I knew it would, it would need a lot of time away from my family. But I said I'll give it a shot because really didn't know what else to really pick from, and uh, come to find out, I love it a lot more than I thought I would. And um, speak speak to how involved you have to be and how much time it does take to be a club sports coach. Well, in most weeks, we'll practice twice a week uh, at night uh, on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then we obviously got games every weekend. Um, so there's also the travel because we do play in uh, Vanderbilt, which is in Nashville. Uh, there's a couple of teams, actually quite a bit of teams in Florida. Um, so the travel time is, you know, you'd be gone all weekend and, and probably we've got three to four long weekends this season. Um, we do have a lot of lo the closer teams, so you just can drive there and come back. Uh, but it's still, it's, it's probably four days a week easy. Coach, with the amount of time that you do spend with the team, what, what would you say is your favorite part of coaching the club hockey team here on campus? It's, it's really seeing these guys getting better. Um, mm -hmm. And I tell them at the beginning of the season, I want to make you, I want you, when you leave here, if you stay with me for four years, I want to, you to leave here a better hockey player and hopefully a better person. Um, my, my, my open policy is, you know, open door. Anytime you want to talk to me, you, you got problems about anything. It could be just life related or hockey. So whatever, just come talk to me. And I, I want to make you better as a person and obviously as a hockey player as well. Hey Coach, talk a little bit about how you try to increase the validity of a club hockey team here down in the South because I've been to a couple of games and I've seen even the fan presence you get. How do you go to reaching that and getting that amount of people out there? A lot I have to do with, well, social media is, is huge now these days. Uh, not in the days I played, we didn't have that. But um, yeah, the, I think the guys on the team do a great job of, of promoting and really asking and passing on the word. And because the reaction you get most of the time is, we have a hockey team. And uh, when they come to their first game, uh, it's live and they have a blast. I mean, they just really have a good time. Watching on TV is totally different than seeing it live. And I think the guys really on the team are helping with, uh, with uh, promoting it and really passing on the word. I really haven't done to do much about that to help out. So. Mm. Coach, what are you most excited about for this upcoming season? I know that your first game is this weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what excites you the most about this team? Um, we have 13 freshmen um, out of 25 rosters. So we only have 12 guys coming back. A lot of uh, new faces. But uh, what I've seen so far is a lot of talent, mm -hmm. a lot of speed. Um, so I'm really excited to see what they're going to do in a real game. You know, we've had a scrimmage. Uh, we played against each other and in practices and everything. But when you get, you know, in the in the real game, that's when you really see a guy, what he can do. So I'm excited about. Th there's a few of the new faces that I really can't wait to see what they can do. You touched on it for a moment. Talk about how you said that um, you have more freshmen coming in than returning players. Yeah. How do you deal with the amount of turnaround that you get in a club sport? Because you don't really see that, you know, in varsity sports or things like that. And club sports is a bit different. So how do you, as a coach, try to get around that? It's, I mean, it, it is hard because sometimes you really hope a guy will come back. Uh, we've, we've had, you know, two guys I can just think on top of my head now from last year, Sean Davis and, and uh, Jeffrey Kostrebski, um, two power forward that could score at any time and they're not returning this season. One's for an injury and one is just for, he just did not want to play anymore. Um, it, it, it's tough because then, you know, it makes it harder on, on the chemistry of the team. And, you know, we've, we've, you had lines playing together for a little while. They were doing well together. Next thing you know, somebody's not there anymore. Now you got to find the perfect fit. And it's hard to do. In a small amount of time, our, our trials really last two weeks. Um, we have to cut from 40 players down to 25. So it's, it, it makes it hard. But altogether, all um, I think that the, the the progression from year to year has been has been better as it went on. I think I'm, I know more what I can expect now from season to season, and uh, I think we'll keep on doing that. How hard is it building the chemistry with such a young group of guys, and most of them being all freshmen? Talk to, about building the team chemistry like that. Um, pretty much, you start from the from, from from the top and goes to the bottom. Uh -huh. uh, I try to get I try to get myself a good captain, two assistant captain that can really lead the team and really get, get those guys together. I think road trips are great as well for guys to get to know each other, um, do a lot of stuff together. I try to also 
get them into certain activities outside of hockey that makes them fun and kind of get to know each other and have fun together. Uh, paintball was one of them we did two years ago. Um, just stuff like that. Um, and I think, I think as we're going along, road trips has helped a lot as well. Um, those long weekends together, hotel rooms, dinners. Um, um, and I you guys travel a, a lot, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we do, we do go to um, Nashville, which is a long, long trip. Uh, which is a beautiful city, beautiful yeah. arena, uh, great setup over there. And then any of the teams in Florida, there's a ton of teams down there. Um, other than Jacksonville, which the building is a little old, um, everything else got a great facilities and the guys enjoy, I mean, it's Florida, right? So yeah. you guys enjoy it. Um, <laughs> so it's been like that so, so far. Um, I, I think, uh, and I can say it now, Jake Tenji will be our captain and Nick Pizzo, um, along with Duncan Hickman will be the assistant captain. Um, guys are, are leader on the team, have been leaders of the team, and I think it starts from those guys all the way down to, to the rookies. And talking about um, the travel and you know, having to play teams in Florida and Nashville, it sounds like you are in the SEC kind of conference when mm -hmm. it comes to club hockey. So as you get to build those rivalries like you would for a varsity sport, if I'm, am I correct? Yep. Yeah, we are in the SEC, but we're also in the ACHA. So we're really, we're playing in two leagues. Because uh, you'll see us when we say we're going to regionals. Regionals is part of the ACHA, mm -hmm. uh, which is all across the United States. But the SEC is really just in, in this area of the South. Um, and rivalries, um, Clemson is by far our favorite, just like mm -hmm. you know, just like football. Uh, they're not in the SEC, but will be in, in 2019, 2020. Really? Yes. They uh, they actually voted to get uh, more teams into the SEC. We'll actually have divisions. Um, more, more to go on that. It's not official yet, mm. uh, but I know Clemson has accepted to come in uh, in okay. the SEC 2019-20 um, season. So that should make for even greater rivalries when that, that comes around. That would be great because then um, you have to have a certain minimum of games. You have to play each of those teams in your division mm -hmm. because there'll be uh, half of them in each division will go into the playoffs. Um, so that's it's going to be very exciting. Coach, with the opening game coming this weekend, are you think the boys are ready and um, oh, are you yeah. ready for this matchup? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We uh, uh, it's funny we play we play in Coastal, which that's the scrimmage we had against. So we've seen a, a few of their players. Um, I can say on them that they're strong in goaltending. Mm -hmm. I think they're weak on defense and have very good goal scorers. Um, so we're gonna have to play well defensively ourselves and uh, really put the puck in their zone and really attack on them. And, and as long as we play in their zone, we'll be fine. What are you looking to try to change or improve upon from last season? You had a bit of a, not mediocre, I'd say, but just kind of back and forth season. And especially when you went to the SEC tournament, you kind of ended with a bad taste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. So what are you looking to improve on or get yourself building that momentum early on this season? Uh, I think it's playing better in our own zone. Um, I think we have a better core of defensemen this season than we did last season. I'm not saying those guys were bad. I just think seeing the rookies now coming in, um, I got two freshmen that I think will do, will do very well at this level. Uh, I think playing defensively better as a team, I think will help us win games. Because um, I think the talent's up there up front. Uh, I don't think goal scoring will be a problem at all. Uh, but we need to play better in our own zone. And then coach, when you talk about the rivalries and the matchups that you have that are more intense, such as Clemson, you know, Georgia, or even Florida, you can see there's a bit of a fire, and as in, in any hockey team, and it's a little of a hot-headedness almost. Yeah. What do you try to say to your players before the game starts to try to keep them from you know doing something that they're going to regret? Yeah, you, you you have to you know it's it's a thin line you got to dance on. It, it's pretty much uh, I want you guys to be as physical as you possibly can, but don't do nothing stupid to hurt the team. Um, and they'll know if they do something bad that will hurt the team, gets us to lose a the game. They'll they'll sit and they'll know that. Um, from, from, from previous experience, it happens in the past. So really, it's really trying to get them fired up, but to that line, and really don't pass that line. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's hard to do for, uh, I call them kids, but uh, um, students for that age, uh, it's hard to do, but I think I pass it on pretty good to, uh, to, to get them to get to that line and really not pass it on. Coach, with such a young team, 13 freshmen, like you said, which underclassmen are you excited to see, and who do you think is gonna have a big impact this season? There's a few of them. Um, one comes to mind is uh, David Murray, he's a forward. And I also have uh, Nicholas P Peters, which I'm very excited, a defenseman. Um, he's, he's really short in size, but I mean, he likes to lay the body and got great hands, great vision. Uh, those are the two guys I'll be looking to see uh, really doing an impact right away mm -hmm. um, coming on this weekend. All right, well, Coach Sirwa, thank you again for coming on. We ha it was a pleasure having you. And until next time, South Carolina. 
Spurs, Spurs up. up.